welcome back. Guess what? We're in the shop and we're going to try and get some work done on Bad Bug. It's, uh, it's been a long time. I've, uh, I've been a little bit lazy. Uh, it's the holiday season. We got uh, Christmas coming up here in, in, in a couple of days. So weekends have been full and we've just been tired from all the shopping and everything. So I've had zero motivation to get in the shop and get anything done. But we're on Christmas vacation and uh, good movie. Check it out. Chevy Chase, one of the best. Um, but anyways, I'm on my Christmas vacation and I thought, you know what, let's get out into the shop and do some work on Bad Bug. So today we are going to try and take out the little tarboard stuff here and there. Um, and I really want to see what the condition is of the floor pans underneath. I know I've got to replace uh, this one back here, but I think everything else is solid. There may be some surface rust. I mean, I can see some right here. So I'm, I'm a little nervous about the conditions. Uh, this looks okay. Uh, I really can't see anything over there, over there. So um, getting under the car, it looks like it's okay. So I'm hoping that what we've got is just a lot of surface rust. So uh, I've got my tools set up over there. We're going to get these tar boards out, and then I'm going to wire wheel it down. I just watched a terrific video from uh, Slade's, Slade's VW Beetle. He just did this um, not too long ago. Uh, I've been behind on watching all of his stuff. So I watched it last night as, as preparation for this. So thanks, Slade. Um, if you aren't already subscribers to his channel, go out there and subscribe. Uh, he's got lots of how-to stuff. Um, and that's, that's where I, I go to source all my, how am I going to do this? So that guy's great. Um, so we're going to get all that started. Um, I've got to kick on my air compressor. It's going to get loud. So I'll get you guys set up. I'll, I'll get that kicked on. Um, and it'll probably be on fast forward unless, uh, there's something that I want to say. Um, then I'll, then I'll kick it back to regular speed. Uh, but I'm, I'm really excited to at least get this step done because the next step then, uh, once we understand how much, uh, rust there is or isn't, it's cutting that floor pan out, getting a new one welded in. We've got to cut, uh, the partial shelf out because it's kind of Swiss cheesy. Um, and then it should be off to paint, I think. I don't know. I've got to, uh, I've got to get some quotes and talk to some people and see about when they can get me worked in. So um, we're getting really, really close. I'm really, really excited. Uh, I would have liked to have been a little farther along uh, than I am right now, but it is what it is. We're here. We're in the shop. Let's get to it. I would imagine these are probably original to the car. Just a lot of surface rust, which is good.
vacuum it, but we do have some holes, so that's not good. One looks a lot better. Just a little bit of surface rust. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. That friggin' sucks. And just a little bit of surface rust. So I think we're gonna pause the video while I scrape this off because you don't really want to watch that. Alright, uh, after many hours of chiseling, we've got all of the, uh, the leftover tar residue. Uh, pretty much off of all the surface that I, I want to uh, go ahead and use the wire wheel on. So uh, it's taken a couple of days, um, not been fun, uh, and then you know with, with being on Christmas break we've, we've been doing some things too. So uh, finally back in the shop, um, I'm going to kick the air compressor on and uh, probably just going to hit this front pan while I record. Um, this pan, there's really not a lot of sense in, in doing much because most of it's going to get cut out. Uh, but it'd be pretty boring watching me just grind on this for, for all that time. So I'll probably just film this one, uh, and then uh, when I'm done, I'll, I'll show you uh, everything else. So I'm going to get the air compressor kicked on. We'll get to it. All right, so I kind of put the kibosh on um, grinding everything down. Let me show you why. So the, the front two pans look pretty good. Um, this back pan, I thought there was just a lot of uh, surface rust, but then I noticed this big hole here, and as I was grinding, these other little holes uh, started to appear. Um, which is disappointing. Uh, what's really odd is that there were looks like three holes drilled here, so I don't know, at one point my mom had an 8-track player mounted up, and I, and I bet that was the mounting points. So, um, I don't know if I'll replace this whole pan. Uh, I do need some guidance. Um, I mean, this... It, it might be best to go ahead and replace this whole thing. I'm not 100% certain yet, so uh, if you guys could give me your input on what you think. Um, you know, I think this this right here, we could probably just replace this chunk, but this back section right here, um, we've got a, a hole here, and then there's a small hole 
right there. Uh, it looks like it's just kind of uh, worm wormholing its way all the way through. Uh, so near as I can tell, uh, that's that's it uh, for for this back here. Um, so I don't know if it'd be good to go ahead and replace this from about here back. Uh, and then what's really disappointing, <laughs> I knew I was going to have to replace this. Uh, but as I was grinding down, there were lots of little pinholes that were popping up. And then uh, we've got a couple of big holes all along here. So, and there's one right there as well. So I knew I was going to cut this shelf out, but I didn't anticipate really uh, anything down in here. And and I know they make, I think it's a it's a one piece thing, this, the, the upright, this and this. Um, but I think that's way beyond what uh, my capabilities are, I know for sure. I don't know if my brother could do that or not. So, uh, just some input. Um, if you think patching those little holes uh, would be um, a feasible fix, uh, again, I'm going to uh, paint all this and probably put some Pour 15 down on all of that stuff right there. Uh, but if, if it's possible, I would prefer to not have to replace this whole thing. Uh, those pieces are expensive and that <clears throat> that eats up into a lot of my paint budget, which is also uh, very slim. So, um, and then one more spot. I did do a little bit of grinding up here. Um, so there's, there's, a, there's a crack right there that we'll probably have to patch, uh, which is okay because I'm not having to replace this this whole firewall piece. It, it seems to be okay. I did some grinding down here because it looks like uh, whatever kind of rubberized coating they've put, I was worried about because uh, it was here as well. And when I started grinding, that's when I started to notice the little, the little pinholes pop up. So I thought, well, let's grind some of that down and see how that looks. So that was, that was okay. Um, so I know I've got to patch that, but give me your thoughts on, uh, if it's, if it's possible to patch that stuff. Um, I don't know how to remove, uh, this, uh, heater duct piece right here. I'm sure I could Google that and find that out. Uh, but you know, I'd rather not if I don't have to, um, if I can patch that stuff, you know, uh, please let me know uh, the best routes to go. If anybody's got any kind of how-tos, I'd appreciate that. Um, also, so the motor we got pulled. Uh, I do need to replace uh, these right here. I have new ones, um, but as you can see, it's it's pretty gunky uh, just from oil and years of being on the road. So suggestions on what I can use to clean that. I don't want to, you know, eat up rubber boots or anything like that. So, uh, I'm always worried about, you know, using strong chemicals that will degrade all that stuff. But if you guys have suggestions, that would be a good degreaser that wouldn't hurt the rubber boots. Shoot me a comment. Let me know. All right. Well, that's it for this video. Um, I think next time, uh, we'll probably start to do some cutting once I get some input from you guys and do a little bit more research. I know uh, Roy Rogers in Springfield, Missouri, they've got the pans. Um, so, you know, that's that's a, a good thing. It's right there, uh, 20 miles from me. So uh, all I got to do is start cutting, get those pans. Uh, and then once I get that input from you guys on, uh, can I patch that stuff up? I'll get to work with my brother. We'll get some uh, steel, I know, to cut this out. Ah. But that's just disappointing. I was really hoping that, you know, that, that passenger side rear pan was really all I was going to have to replace as far as the floor is concerned. But turns out, no, uh, this thing has sat in uh, the driveway all its life. So it's, it's never really been 
garage kept. So uh, that's just unfortunate, but that's how it rolls. All right, well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and um, please, please, please let me know in the comments about patching those holes uh, and, and any tips. I really appreciate it. You know, this is this is way out of my league, and if my dad was here, I know I could, could count on him to get that done, but uh, I'm kind of doing this solo. So I'm depending on you, my viewers, to uh, give me some, some helpful tips. All right, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time, everybody.